Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. Today we have a new package and as always we're going to find out about this item. Now in previous videos I always demonstrated the unpackaging. This specific item I already unpackaged it. So uh, you can take my word and I can say that the seller did quite a good job in wrapping this thing up. This item that I'm gonna review in this video is a film scanner. It's supposed to take old films, uh, old negatives, and to scan them into files so you can save those old negatives and you don't have to use them anymore the moment you scan them into the files. It takes analog content and you convert it to digital content. So let's uh, look at the box. It's in English, everything is in English. I will give you in the description to the video the link to the a specific seller that I purchased from. It's not an affiliated link, please notice that. The specifications for this thing, let me uh, uh, rotate the box. Uh, it's a film scan USB, MSDC, you can connect it with USB uh, 2.0. It can scan the pictures up to five megapixels. It has a display, a 2.4 inches LCD display. The film type that it will fit 35 millimeters film, monochrome and slide films. Uh, you can also use uh, picture effects, I guess, like uh, when you're using uh, on your camera and you're using like on Instagram, all those filters. So I guess here you also have filters, but there's no need because if you're scanning a specific file, after you scanned it, you can play with the file. The file format that it saves the files into is JPEG. It also has a TV out uh, connection, NTSC or PAL. I'm not sure why you should use to, why you should use that to connect that to uh, your TV if you can just scan it to your computer. There's also external memory card, a SD card slot, which you can use uh, up to a 32 gigabytes SD card. So uh, from my knowledge in this kind of devices that I'm purchasing, if they tell you it's up to 32 gigabytes, I guess you can't use a bigger capacity uh, memory cards. I will test that in the future so you can ask me in the comments to the video if I do that. Anyway, let's uh, take out uh, what's inside the package and uh, start to uh, realize about this thing. Well guys, this is what the package included. So you have the device itself. This is the film scanner. This is how it looks like. Uh, this is the top of it. So you have here the 2.4 inches uh, screen and there's several uh, keys, menu and take a picture. I guess it's to scan this thing. From the back of uh, the device, you have a slot to enter the SD card. In addition, you have a connection to USB and TV slot. From both sides of the device, you have the place where you're inserting those uh, feeders or sliders for negative and positive and whatever you call this thing. In addition, this is the adapter. The adapter, you can connect it to a USB and from the USB, it goes to micro USB, which is this one. Please note that the micro USB connection is a bit biased. I hope that it's not damaged. The seller, I asked him to send me a European adapter. He didn't do that. So it's a bit disappointing, but I will uh, be fine with that. And in addition, I guess you can plug the uh, USB straight to your computer. So you don't have to use the adapter itself. Also supplied is this brush. Uh, this part, it allows you to brush, I guess, the films uh, when you're going to uh, scan them and make sure that they're clean. Also supplied is this cable, which allows you to connect the, the film scanner straight to your TV. And also supplied the user manual, which uh, is in English. It's about uh, 12 pages and I'm going to read it. And I also recommend you to read it so you will know exactly how to use this thing. After I spoke so much, let me review the user manual and I try to connect the uh, film scanner and we'll see how this thing works. Right now I'm going to connect the uh, micro USB to the device. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Let's press power on and it's turned on. Tells you film scanner 
and it says please insert uh, I guess something to scan uh, this is the display this is how the display looks like so I guess it's ready for me to scan the uh, thing itself so let's take uh, for a test let's take a film and see how this thing works now we said that we have uh, three different feeders this one I'm still not sure what it does and we have these two the difference between the both of them which I noticed right now is this one has one two three four a uh, windows this one has one two three four five six windows and overall each window is quite the same size as the other one let's open them them because you're supposed to place inside the film itself the difference is uh, determined according to the type of film that you're scanning uh, let's place it here let's try to figure out what this thing uh, does okay so you have here like a slider i'm not sure what this thing is anyway let's put it aside for a second well guys you won't believe it but i managed to find old films uh, so i can demonstrate to you how to scan the old films uh, for those of you who were born after the 90s uh, this is how they used to save files back in the days and it wasn't files back in the days uh, you would save the picture on this thing maybe sometimes if you're going to ikea and you saw those uh, frames for pictures you can find something that will uh, be quite similar to that uh, anyway this is a uh, one a uh, film let's see which one it will fit i guess it will fit this one because this one it's determined by the distance between each of the films yes and what what i notice is that you have here like a plastic like a hole that you can place the specific film on it and it sits quite nice on the rail so i'm closing this thing I'm not sure if it's like precise i'm trying to play with it it's not so easy this thing it's like you have to work quite hard in order to save those old films you have to become like an expert So I noticed that it sits right now properly on the uh, track or the feeder or whatever you call it and I closed it and right now I'm going to uh, place it inside the film scanner. Now the moment I'm putting it inside the film scanner I can notice that a picture appears on the film scanner and shows on the screen exactly what's on the film. Now the picture it looks nice it's not an amazing screen but uh, i have to play with it a bit so i'm trying to play with it but it tells me you have to insert a memory card so i'm going to look for sd memory card well guys i managed to find sd card memory card i'm going to insert it into the film scanner from the back like i said before and that's it the light indicator turns on of sd card and i think uh, it's supposed to work right now so let me try and uh, demonstrate to you from close up how it looks like this is the screen itself you can see uh, the, the wh what's on the screen is like uh, the negative itself. You can move it and you can switch between the, uh, the, the negatives. Anyway, uh, this is how it looks like. And I'm trying to place it properly. Yeah, it looks like it sits properly. And if you press this button, you're playing with the brightness. And I think that the, if you like uh, scan it normal then you can play after that after you already uh, scan the, the negative into a file now i'm going to press this button this button it's like uh, taking a snapshot and i'm not sure if you noticed but it's supposed to like uh, capture the negative into a file so you have here a number 8510 the moment i'm pressing a snapshot yeah right now it changed so it's changed into 8509 so it means that one picture is already saved on the uh, memory card on the sd card and there's still a uh, room for 8509 more pictures so it's quite a lot and i think that this uh, specific sd card is 8 gigabytes so you can only imagine that this device allows you up to 32 gigabytes how many pictures you can convert from negatives into files to digitize them when you want to switch uh, to the next picture you just have to push this thing aside after you finish you just have to take it out and that's it i guess you can uh, i don't know save the negatives you can throw them i'm not sure what you're gonna do make sure that you either 
uh, put them somewhere safe or you recycle them. So let's say uh, press this button and this button will take you to the playback mode and the moment you're pressing the playback mode so you can switch between all the pictures that you saved on the SD card. So this is how it looks like and I'm switching between all the pictures. Now there's another uh, button, this button, I hope you can see it. Every time you press it, you can rotate the picture. This is what this specific button does. There's also the snapshot button, which I told you before. And there's also this uh, menu button, which when you press it takes you into a menu mode. And in this menu mode, I can tell you that the options are capture, exposure, resolution, language, switching uh, between this device and the computer. And that's it. These are the options on this uh, menu. It's quite a basic menu and it's good because it's not supposed to be complicated. Right now we switch from the menu mode to the PC mode and you can see that the blue light indicator of the PC mode uh, turns on and it allows me to uh, look at the device like it's an external drive. So uh, I'm going into the uh, drive, the memory card, and I'm looking at the files and I want to see how they look like what I saved from the film. So I have to admit that the quality is quite nice. Uh, you can see that it's an old picture and I guess I can play with it a bit and edit it through my computer. So I'm not sure how uh, useful is the exposure, the brightness level that uh, you play with it on the uh, device itself, the film scanner itself. Anyway, I advise you to learn how to uh, use it properly and save it, uh, like capture the files in several modes, several uh, levels of exposure and then you can play with it on your computer with using an editing software. So this is the uh, film scanner that allows you to scan films, old negatives into files, digitize them. Um, it's quite an interesting uh, gadget, I guess. Uh, it's quite an old school gadget for people who still care about films because youngsters, they will try to start playing with all those uh, negatives. You don't have any reason to do that uh, unless you want to learn about your ancestors or about your history or if you found the treasure. And maybe if you can scan those uh, negatives into files, you can find crazy stuff, you know. So this is the film scanner. I'm not sure about the brand, the model, everything. I will write in the description to the video and uh, you can learn from there. If something changes about this specific item, I know something new. So I will also add this information to the description of the video. And that's it. If you have any more questions about this uh, a film scanner. I invite you to comment about this video and I will try to do my best to give you an answer about it. I would like to uh, thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, I invite you to like it. And I also invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Original Video Reviews. And also I invite you to like the Facebook page and the Google Plus page by Original Video Reviews. And I want to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.